45 million billionaire row mansion. Sure, fuck it, why not? This? Jesus, what an intro. I feel like I'm watching a movie. Like Jason Statham's gonna get out of that car or something. Of course it's Dubai. It's billionaire rule, of course it's gonna be Dubai. Thanks, Resub Senpai. What's up, everybody? It's hey, Anis, Anis. And welcome to another episode from Palm Jumeirah, Dubai. Today, we're checking out another one of Alpaga Properties' developments. Beautiful modern design, rooftop deck, subterranean garage. Is, wait, is that the house beers. behind you? This house has it all. It features five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, 16,000. That looks so small for a $45 million dollar house. Built on a 15,836 square foot lot, and it is currently on the market for $45 million. As always, you can find more information about this property Thanks, in the description of Luby, this video. Puff, and so Coyote. make sure to check that out. And before we start our tour, I want to give big thanks to the developer, Alpago Properties, and the listing brokerage. Yeah, I guess Eagle the location. Properties for giving us the honor to show their listing to all of you. And now, let's begin. This is probably like a normal house in Dubai. Oh, nice stealth piano. Things are resub Zeth and Bean. Do all the cars come with it, increasing the value of the property? This is actually a good house, is it? So far, it doesn't look like shit. That's good, I guess. We're gonna start our tour on the exterior. Beautiful modern design. Second floor of this property kicks out a little bit. All clad with travertine, and it really gives this house a very distinct look. Yeah, because it looks like that level in 007 Goldeneye when you go into the submarine. Uh, it just looks like really sharp geometry for no reason. I don't see the point of this. But yeah, I mean, it is distinct. I love these louvers that are right in front of these glass panels. Then you have the reeded sections and the edges tapers off beautifully. Now we also have stone clad on the first floor. Landscaping looks really nice. And you have the walkway taking you to the front door, two water features, and we have the driveway going down to the lower level where we have the subterranean garage. Mm. That space is amazing. And this home consists of four levels, including the rooftop deck facing the amazing views. And lastly, we also have a small walkway heck. that takes you to the backyard. That's your catering access. Looks like that a way, dentist. If you throw events, if you throw parties, you have an easy access for cars to park and get close to your backyard. Oh, it's, lastly, it's on its way, Epicness. Thanks for the bits. We have to give it time. Door. And now, let's go inside. Take me in, Ennis. I'm ready. Here we are at the entry. Man, what Beautiful a piece of shit. Door, keypad lock, and come into the spacious atrium. Right above, we have these linear marble hinge light fixtures that look gorgeous and we saw the travertine tones on the exterior and they brought the same tones to the interior but this time oh. they picked ceramic tile to kind of replicate oh. that look ceramic is more durable and it's has prime that trophy. more uniform look on my left hand side we have this art installation it weighs around 2.5 tons made in india has this aged steel look <clears> and goes all the way to the ceiling and it really sets the tone as you walk into this property. What tone does it set? You have a ceiling mount. It seems like a waste. From Roberto Cavalli. Another art installation on the other side. And between the entry and the great room, we have these steel rods starting from floor all the way to Why? the ceiling, separating the entry from great room. And this great room is incredible. I mean, it doesn't do a great job of separating it if I do, you know, if I, if I do say so myself. This is supposed to be like, 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 
prison bars or something to like prevent you from going here without the owner's permission? What's the point? Just rods. Just random fucking steel rods here in the middle. Custom furniture. And yeah, the Mickey Mouse stuff's kind of cool. That looks nice. Furniture throughout. Amazing views. We have the coffee table right in the center. Four different natural stones contrasting nicely with each other. You have Thanks your Risa, sectional couch here. Diana and the Prime Amnesia. Sofa on that side. And right above me, we have this custom chandelier that costs around $150,000, which is not a small number. And I just love the lines, LED lighting, natural stone application, agate piece right here. It looks gorgeous and really frames the space. Now, this room is all about these views. Motorized sliding glass doors mm. open up. These are from Eurosystem and the particular brand is called Gersili. And because of the tin profile, it feels like indoor is connected to the outdoors. We have the amazing pool in the backyard right in front of us. And we're going to see that part later in the tour. Oh, now, well, I can't wait that long, Ennis. To the dining area. Let's but go take a dive. There, I want to take you guys to another hallway here that goes to two rooms. We also have an art installation here. That Why really not a TV? To the space. Oh. You're telling me for $45 million, someone said, I want just a textured butthole on my wall instead of like a TV. Why? What is the point? This is actually just someone's anus stretched out. What an absolute waste of space. That really brings texture to the space. Awesome, great room. Now, coming to this hallway, the first door on my left opens up to the office. This space is located on the left side of the property. I want to first talk about this desk setup. It's from Giorgetti and it looks like it came Who's out that? of Boeing 777. I mean, it looks gorgeous. The stitching, the leather clad, the lines, everything about this table is just phenomenal. And chair also matches that. Yeah, the background's the back, cool. This glass art it's like an office in a volcano. Complemented with these curved panels. On my left hand side, we have the motorized sliding glass doors opening up to the side of the property. That way you can access directly to your office rather than going through the front door. And on top of that, we have these aluminum lures, which you can also open. And it's just a really nice view to look at. On this side, we have the marble wall, lettered, looks great. And in between, you can see these sand brass inlays, open shelving, TV, great office. And we even have velvet. That's pretty cool. Here. I, I like that design. That's a cool design here. This whole wall is nice. So it look, it's built-in shelves on the wall, it seems. So you can just like put shit here, like photos or trophies or whatever the fuck. That's a cool idea. I like that. Wall, letter, Actually, not a bad screen, room. And in between, you can see these sand brass inlays, open shelving, TV, great office. Is that a TV? Don't here. be ridiculous. That's an great art space. installation. Now, right on the other side, we have the first guest suite. I'm going to start with the bathroom. Same ceramic It's tiles, flat? No, he said they were, uh, no. Didn't he say it was built-in shelves? Did I misunderstand? ...side of the property, we have these aluminum lures, which you can also open, and it's just a really nice view to look at. On this side, we have the marble wall, lettered, looks great, and in between, you can see these sand brass inlays, open shelving, TV. Great. Oh, he pointed down here for open shelving. It looked like these were, like, shelves. Uh... I see. I thought he was still talking about this up here. Mm, yeah, chat's right. Great office, and we Damn, that would've been cool though. That's a cool idea though. Just do like a wall with built-in shelves where you just kind of like stagger it a little bit. Even I think that'd be cool. Wallpaper here. Great space. Now, right on the other side, we have the first guest suite. I'm gonna start with the bathroom. Same ceramic tiles are also here. Maybe the owner of Moist Charlie wall. Clips. Yeah, it's that really one's mine. The design with curved Aaron lines. and I do that one. And we even have a small light fixture right here. LED lit mirror. Agate accent piece with backlighting. Another agate Thanks, piece Husky. on this side where we have the open shelving. Hand beaded brass. A lot of textures in this bathroom. And we have the water closet here. Walk-in shower on this side. Rain head above. And it's Thanks a good size bathroom. Nerf. Now, right on the other side, we have the bedroom king size bed with this long headboard design above that we have the agate wall with back cool microscope design great. we have the polyform built-in cabinets on this side tv right here and more importantly more I sliding glass who designed this room jesus christ what what the fuck is this 
Yeah, I can't wait to lay in bed and then wake up with a sore neck because my TV was way off to the left, so I had to, like, crank my head to the side just to watch. Why a giant mirror here in the center of this to watch yourself sleep as opposed to just putting the TV there? What are you thinking? I don't get, I don't get the point at all. That is so backwards. More importantly, motorized sliding glass doors open up and connect this bedroom to the backyard and the amazing views. We also have motorized curtains and blackouts, so I want to point that out. Great Thanks bedroom, vibes. nicely detached from the rest of the house. Now, I don't know if I ever beat Paper Mario. To the entry again, we're going to go to the other oh, side. Remember. Great room is all open, connects to the dining area. Tier and one after green. that, we have the staircase. But first, I want to bring everybody's attention here. Two details on this side. Number one, these columns are clad with this really unique finish. This is the first time I'm seeing this. They call it caviar cladding. And it's basically these small bubbles with epoxy and they just cover this entire column here, which Why? creates a really unique texture. And based on the color scheme of your house, you can pick whichever color you like. Now let's come this way. We have two beautiful Who cares? displays. Who Open fucking cares? Inside. Same sand brass tones are also here. And on the other side, we have the second one. There you go. Looks beautiful. Complements the dining area. And right next door, we have a powder room. It's really hey. the way they designed this room. We have two vanity setups here, replica of each other. It's all agate stone. We've been seeing agate already a lot in this house. Yeah, and I mean, the sinks are cool, I guess. Tones. Same for this vanity here. And then you have your beautiful axle fixtures with marble top. And on the back, we have this rocky wall design and the mirror is actually separated into two pieces, both here and between the bathroom. So there's a I mean, nice I guess that's cool. There. A lot but of why? Pieces, a lot of colors, beautiful powder room design. Now, right next to us, we have the dining area, beautiful marble table from Hans, Duke and Jones. seating for eight. And above we have this marble light fixture that is quite long. And if you look closely, you can see that it consists of five different light fixtures connected to each other but they installed them so closely and so perfectly that it looks like a single piece now on the other side sliding glass doors open up and connect the space to the outdoors mm -hmm. and yeah you have your dining area here right next to your seating area now coming this way we have the the reset stairs, but before i talk about this section i want to mention we have the elevator landing here this elevator has glass on all three sides you see up and just yeah piano is cool don't on care my left -hand side, what is this doors open up to the pool area and up front we have the sliding glass doors open up straight to your staircase access that leads you to the beach this space is super cozy sectional couch here bang and also on tv and above we have this really unique lighting approach it's certainly bold we have about 40 to 50 bulbs here with led lighting inside and it just gives ton of character and ton of color to this space yeah it now, seems like it would be blinding the other side. i'd we hate that the informal dining area and the kitchen also hey thanks for five new subs i appreciate it man thanks for prime this fluff home was the designed queen. by lw design group and the interiors were done by ck architecture i think they did a phenomenal job i House think they did a mediocre job the exterior, especially for 45 mil room and here we have the kitchen now this kitchen is really unique we have the polyform cabinet why does it not on work this side island on my left and the entire space connects to the back where we have the chef's kitchen that we're going to see in a bit. Coming to this side, Gagano gas stove, oven setup down below, marble countertop and backsplash. And you have rest of your appliances here, oven setup, espresso maker. And I feel like if you're going to have a modern kitchen and you want to leave your appliances exposed, Gagano is definitely the way to go. Their appliances look... Uh, I don't care about the other side. Gagano or whatever. In the Push this Show me a cool so, room. So Coming this bed and where looks beautiful now bed and we're about 100 feet away from water Pool area looks nice pretty awesome yeah it's really nice being this close to the water i bet each one of these houses is like five million bucks bare minimum that's probably the starting price for everything over there dubai is kind of known for its warm summers so it's nice to have the water there go jump in we were in there yesterday and more than great. that no i don't think more than that I, I'm pretty sure in the beginning he showed that this house is right on the side of that like sandbar they tried to make into houses and those were supposed to be cheaper houses if I remember correctly. Oh, Jesus, Sage. Holy shit, Sage. <clears throat> Thank you for the 50 gift subs. God damn, man. Hope you had a great day today, Sage. Thank you. Thanks to the resub Conbrew.
Good lord, what a Absolutely. fat drop, or thank you. you can use your amazing pull. You the generosity. Right in the heart of this pack. Character. Owner of the house in chat. Before we cover this pool, <laughs> I want to actually talk about the exterior architecture too. By the way, we have two outdoor showers around the corner. And now let's talk about the house for a second. The prime Zando. Beautiful modern design. I love how first floor and second floor cantilevers over a little bit. All clad with travertine. You can see the strip lighting underneath the overhang. And I just love how second floor tapers off a little bit as to distort the room. Everything needs to towards some of the grandest and most successful thing on the other. Oh, floor. is this an advertisement for tourism to Dubai? Is that what's going on here? Seems like it. Hype. Cool. Here we are. It's really, really awesome. This car is also just as gorgeous. I feel like it's such a timeless car. Yeah, we had a chance to tour their showroom with their CEO Ali. They just have an incredible Brian selection of Dillian. cars. And First Motors is actually also owned by Alpago Group, who owns Alpago Properties. Absolutely. They're showing me moving life here. And lastly, first floor. Full weight break. Is that features. Popeye? Same ceramic tiles. That is Popeye. They're also here. Staircase looks beautiful. We can nice. get a closer look to this hinge light fixture. And off of the landing, we have the elevator access. And before we go check out the bedrooms on this wing, I actually want to take everybody this way. This door opens up. Mercedes the is the lowest end of the car the in Dubai. Is that right? And then this door opens up to the hair salon. Now, this is an room. This is where we have the screening room. Now, you guys know we tour a lot of movie theaters and screening rooms on this channel. And this is certainly not the biggest, but the way they designed it with the textures, wall insulation, starlight ceiling, and textures, art installation, it definitely feels contemporary, matches the house really well. And personally, it does it for me. I would love to just lay down here, watch a movie, enjoy this place. I mean, look at this. They even have Versace pillows here. Come on. Oh, very that's nice. so that's nice. Oh my God, that's so nice. So crawling under a blanket and watching a movie sounds quite nice. Absolutely. All right. Did he ask you, camera guy? Right on the did he, did he say you could speak? I, I didn't recall. I must have missed that. Level. Weird. Definitely good weird. size, king size bed. And I didn't, I didn't miss the, the invitation on that house one. This house comes with the sale of this property. I love these rose gold light fixtures, ceiling mount. Oh, and on wow. The back, look at those mounts. Glass panel finish. Above that, another unique texture. Polyform cabinetry here. I got to show this detail. Every single one of these attached these brackets. Oh, the wonderful bathtub. Or wait, is that a bath? Is that what, what the fuck is that? Is it like a hammock of steel? These walls just right where you can attach these brackets to the walls because it's floating. So the weight of the tub. Oh, it is. It is. It is a bathtub. And the person that's in it are carried by the walls on each side. Then you have your satin bronze fixture here. Massive picture window facing the views. This bathroom is just stunning. We have the modern pedestal sink here. I mean, that's that's rocks. an interesting idea, I guess. Walking shower, rain head, and then you have your water closet. That seems here. dangerous, right though. That's putting a lot of trust now, on those brackets. Let's go back to the hallway so we can continue our tour. Additional polyform cabinetry. These rooms are definitely good size. And coming here, we're right above the foyer. We can see those lures that we talked about on the exterior. Views of Atlantis, as well as the wall here, a lot of unique materials, and the place here. It's not Whoa. a real place. It just makes steam and looks cool. They also have solar panels above, so they definitely kept sustainability in mind. And on the back, we have. Nah, I don't think so. Walls. Sun could burn out any day now. Aura with trim details in between. And coming here, I don't know what they call this. It's some sort of like a jewelry box. It's from Roberto Cavalli and Mikey. Can we get a close up? Like, look at these details, the stitching, the wallpaper inside and handles, and it's gotta be twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Yeah, it's like a, almost like a traveling trunk almost, but really, really fancy. Yeah. Really nice one. Yeah. And it comes with the house. Now coming this way, all polyform built-in closets set up here, LED, we have the rain developed in the center. I mean, this house isn't nearly as shitty as most Just of the like other really expensive ones we've it's seen. open, facing the views, water closet and bidet on this side. And this is a, a prime Jazzy. Onyx freestanding tub. And this thing is oh, it's like a dragon crazy. egg. We were actually here a few months ago and we got a chance to see this home during construction. And when they showed me this piece, I was like, how did you guys even get it to the first floor? It's massive, but it looks great. It's actually backlit and around it, they have this designer tile, which is basically a printed tile that creates this figure on the back, including the bottom. And yes, this is your freestanding tub. We have an axle fixture, and on top of the drain, it actually restores solar. Very cool, very cool. You have your TV, mirror, back wall, 
space. If you have any, see this. It takes me back to my youth, wondering what could be possible in this life of mine. All right.